In this video, I want to demonstrate how to group data by month in Microsoft Excel. And I will be using the sum product formula in order to do this. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I have this data set over here consisting of three fields, order number, order amount, and order date. And as you can see, for each particular order amount, there's a order date. And that is the date in which the transaction has taken place. And there could be one or more transactions per month. Here's what we want to do. We want to turn this table over here into this table in which we get the cumulative order amount per month. So in other words, we want the sum of all order amounts for January, February, March, all up until December of this particular year. Now, doing this is very simple and uh, requires going through two very simple steps. Step one, in this step, we have to create named ranges. And we have to create these named ranges for order amount and order date. And if you haven't created uh, named ranges yet in the past, I'll go through how to do this right now. So first, I will create a, a named range for order amount. And to do that, I'll just select this range that we have in mind. And then I'll go to the name box up here in the top left hand corner of the screen. And I'll give this a name. In this case, I'll name it amount. And after typing in the name, I have to click on enter on the keyboard. So this name range has been created. The second named range is for order date. Once again, I will select my range and then I will go to the name box on the top left hand corner of the screen and I will write date this time. And again, I'll click on enter. And that's that. As easy as that, we already created our named ranges. And just to confirm that those have been created, I'll click on this drop down button over here. You can see both named ranges have been successfully created. So now that that's out of the way, let's move on to step number two. In step number two, we have to use this formula in order to calculate the cumulative order amount per month. And this is a sum product formula that takes each particular day and uh, this uses the month in order to calculate the order amount for that month. So I will type that amount in this table over here. I'll start with the month of January. And as you can see, after typing this formula in the first row of this table, the cumulative order amount for the month of January has been calculated. And it's been calculated correctly, and we can even validate that by selecting these three values. As you can see, the sum of these three amounts is $1,040, and we're getting $1,040. And what this formula does is it gets all the dates from this array or this field over here, column C, where the month in the date is equal to one and calculates the sum product of the amounts. And as easy as that, we get the cumulative order amount for January. Now, we have to apply this formula to all these months. However, have in mind that every time we apply it, we have to change this number over here. So for example, when we're applying it to February, we will have to change this number to two because February is the second month of the year and March it has to be three and all the way to December it has to be 12. So in order to simplify that and avoid having to enter that number manually, what I'll do is I will type those numbers in this column over here and use this column as a helper column. So here's, uh, here's how I will do that. I'll type one over here and then I'll drag that number down all the way to December so we have the numbers 1 to, through 12 and I will change this 
I will trade in just number one to reference this cell over here. And I'll click enter. And you can see nothing changed. We had a slight change in the reference of the formula. Instead of ma having, having a manual number here, I have a reference to a cell. And, but the result is exactly the same. We're getting the same $1,040 that we got before. And then I will drag this formula down all the way to the bottom. And as you can see, we're getting the cumulative order amount per month out of this table over here by creating named ranges and using the sum product formula and also using a helper column, of course, to be able to easily drag it down and apply it for all 12 months within this table. And as you can see, this gives us a much more brief and a summary view of this data set. And we, as we get to see the cumulative order amount per month, something that we don't directly see in this table. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share the video, and also make sure to hit the bell button so you won't miss out on my future videos. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in my next video.